Okay, today our viewer has asked, what can I do if I have familial high cholesterol? Could I fast it away? This certainly can be a challenge and there are some people whose liver either makes lots of cholesterol or is very slow in taking cholesterol out of the blood. Either way, cholesterol levels climb uh, to significantly elevated uh, levels. So uh, is this a worry? Possibly. Now, I have not seen a study, and it really should be done, as far as what happens to vegans eating a whole food plant-based diet who have this familial hypercholesterolemia. Are they at risk for heart attacks and strokes? Because the numbers of, of your cholesterol level is one thing, but that's just a number. The question is, what really happens to these people? Because if you live to be 108, with a high cholesterol, who cares uh, what your cholesterol number was? If it's not hurting your arteries, then uh, it, it's not a significant concern. So I would refer you to a video that's on my website called Beyond Cholesterol. And in that video, uh, and we'll put a link to it in the bottom of this question, is uh, the message that High cholesterol does not necessarily equal the disease of atherosclerosis. The disease of atherosclerosis is an active inflammatory process resulting from the abuse of the arteries inflicted by the owner of the arteries. In other words, someone eating a standard Western diet and they're eating bacon and eggs for breakfast and cheeseburgers for lunch and fried chicken for dinner. Uh, they're constantly barraging their artery walls with cooked animal protein and vegetable oils and high fructose corn syrup and phosphoric acid from cola drinks and maybe cigarette smoke and free radicals and the processed food. This combined artery assault, plus the fact that if you're eating cooked animal muscle, if you're eating chicken muscle or cow muscle that's been cooked, you've the cook, very act of cooking the meat oxidizes the cholesterol. So now you not only have cholesterol in the blood, you've got oxidized cholesterol particles and they are the most atherogenic, the ones that most inclined to invade the artery wall and, and cause the disease of atherosclerosis. So the upshot is it's more than just how high is your cholesterol. It's how healthy your artery. Well, how are you treating the walls of those arteries? And for the vegan eating just a whole food plant-based diet, if the only thing they are running through their arteries are beans and greens and fruits and vegetables and lentils and quinoa and, 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 and the occasional banana or mango, and that's it. If they're eating a whole food plant-based diet, are they damaging their arteries? Does that high cholesterol pose a risk to them? We don't know. But it's certainly the reasonable strategy to follow. If Even if you've got high cholesterol, all the more reason to eat a diet of whole plant foods with lots of antioxidants and stay away from, from processed foods. And then have your doctor just follow you along. If the, if the disease of atherosclerosis is, is, uh, uh, is taking place, if when they check your arteries uh, and they check your blood, if the markers for inflammation are increased, high sensitivity CRP, oxidized cholesterol, uh, uh, myeloperoxidase, phospholipase, uh, if these are elevated, and if they do an ultrasound scan of your carotid arteries and you've got plaque building up there, then, then yes, it is a problem. Again, clean up your diet and work with your doctor. You might need some medication or something to, uh, uh, to, to slow down or stop the, the process. But if you do these markers, the high sensitivity CRP and the oxidized cholesterol and myeloperoxidase and, and, and phospholipase, prostaglandin 2, and they're all negative, even though your cholesterol is 320, 
and you do a carotid scan and it's clear, you've got a nice healthy artery walls, nice laminar flow. You don't have the disease of atherosclerosis, even though your cholesterol is 320. So, so don't let the doctors panic, uh, panic you. Um, if you're someone with high cholesterol, have them check your inflammatory markers. Again, I list these in my video, Beyond Cholesterol. Excuse me. Check it out on the on the video on my website there, and uh, and and check those uh, check the markers. Uh, maybe get a, a ultrasound scan of your arteries, and if they're negative, then you don't have the disease of atherosclerosis. So they're they're and, and most cardiologists have they're the same thing. You got high cholesterol, you got the disease, and that's true given the population that the cardiologists are dealing with. And their, their waiting room is filled with people eating cheeseburgers and fried chicken. And yes, they're high cholesterol that gives them uh, atherosclerosis. But if you're a beans and greens vegan, uh, even though your cholesterol may be high because your liver is putting out lots of it, doesn't necessarily mean you've got that disease. So check your inflammatory markers, keep your diet filled with veggies and antioxidant rich, uh, phytonutrient rich, uh, whole plant foods. And the odds are you know, you'll live a long, healthy life uh, without a heart attack or stroke, even though your cholesterol uh, might be uh, in the high 200s or, or higher. So um, again, be a biologist, I would tell the doctors, not just a technician looking at numbers. Check out the health of the artery walls and see if the disease is developing there. If it's not, um, the, the patient is not, not at high risk. So uh, uh, so. Uh, make that important distinction and, uh, and everybody will be healthier, hopefully with a lot less medications. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you wanna see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.